Hi, it's Richard Bowser from Property Investor News magazine. I'm here in Norwood Green in West London with Paul Higgs, who, as some viewers may recall, uh, we did an article in Property Investor News in 2014. Good afternoon, Paul. Hello, Richard. Paul, uh, we're, we're at the old dairy site here yeah. in, in Norwood Green, which was a development that you completed in, in the last year. Can you just tell us tell us a little bit about this site and uh, your uh, how how the site came about? Yeah. Okay. So, um, not surprisingly, it was an old dairy, hence the yep. marketing name of the old the old dairy. So, um, I um, I spotted the site. It was a, a um, you know, as far as I was concerned, it had obvious development potential. Yep. I was in the area one day, drove past. Spotted it, and funny enough, actually, this was a site I, I had seen um, and actually approached the people pretty much 25 years ago. Right. So, um, and so I just happened to be driving down this way, yes. uh, about probably about three or four years ago now. Drove past, was absolutely amazed to see that it still hadn't been developed. So, um, I um, approached the owners um, again, right. uh, and this time uh, they were up for doing a deal. Okay. So I, I tied the site up. So it's totally off market. I mean, that's you know the way I like to do things. So yes spot things with potential approach the owners direct. Um, tied the site up subject to planning permission. Mm -hmm. Went away, got myself uh, a very nice planning permission mm -hmm. for eight big houses. Right. And um, yeah, built it out. Um, took about uh, 18 months all in all. Yep. And um, sold the last one about three months ago now. Okay. And so we've got eight individual properties detached. Yeah, so got, got, there's a big pair of semis at the front there, mm -hmm. um, and there's just sort of six, six attached in the back here. Right. And roughly size is... is so, um, they are probably about 2,600 square foot on average. Mm -hmm. Got about 22,000 square feet overall. Right. Um, biggest one there behind you is um, 3,300 square feet. Okay. And um, on average, the sales values are just under a million quid. Okay. So uh, yeah, so just under a, just under eight million total. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Talk a little bit later about, about some of the numbers, but um, obviously the the, the de some of the details in the article in the magazine. The the site itself, uh, just approximately where are we located in terms of transport? Okay, so um, this is West London, as you mentioned, a place is called Norwood Green. Uh, real funny little micro market actually, uh, mm -hmm. Norwood, Norwood Green. So as you would have seen, old village green is just down the road there. Yep. So this immediate area is is actually really highly sought after. Um, you go not too far over a field in a couple of directions, and it's not so good. Yep. Um, Osterley is just over there next door, which is actually fairly good. And um, next to that is um, Osterley Tube Station on the Piccadilly Line, right. which is um, is probably the nearest um, transport. Okay. And and that. And that obviously formed part of the attraction from a development perspective. Yeah, it, it, location, it, it, location. <laughs> it, well, it it did. I mean, obviously, location's always important, but but um, you know, just as important is is knowing what's right for the market because yes. you know, within reason. I mean, look, I mean, personally, we don't really want to be developing in places that aren't good, mm. but you know, some places are better than others, and it really is horses for courses. So you've got to do you know a lot of market research yeah. to know exactly what is right for. Know, for wherever it is that, that you're thinking about developing. 